Your Honor, let the record show that we have officially experienced the shortest starting soon screen in Snapcube stream history. Good morning. Hi, everybody. Uh, is it's it's it is fuck off early right now, <laughs> which if you don't know is 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 around five to six o'clock um, for me. Secret stream. It's not actually a secret. I just thought it'd be funny to say it was a secret. Um, okay, so. Why am I streaming this early? Okay, the reason I'm streaming this early is threefold, I think. Either twofold or threefold. Um, so first main reason being I have been trying to find a moment to do a test stream, just like a just like a really low stakes test stream before my next like official stream. I don't know if you can notice or not. I don't know if you can notice my sound, like my microphone sounding any different. I have changed my, like basically my entire audio setup. I got like brand new equipment. I have a cat in the, I have a cat in the office named Aubergine who smells really bad and is trying to take some cardboard right now, I think. Doing? <laughs> That's so. That's so. Is that is that so, is that really the the hill you want to die on? This ju this just in. Penny Parker uh th threatens Aubergine to die on stream. What out of context? What the hell? Out of the. What have missed? I think he just wants attention. Hi, I'm over here at the cat. I'm over here at the couch now because uh, Aubergine's over here. Anyway, let me continue my train of thought while I uh, give give this little boy some some massages on his smelly little head. Um, so my entire audio setup is different, and I don't know if it's audible at the moment or not. But essentially, I uh, replaced my. Okay, he's done. I can move back over here. Um, I replaced my Elgato Wave XLR, not because it's bad or anything. Uh, it actually does a couple things quite a bit better than other alternatives, but at the moment, it has some limitations that I w needed to start working outside of. Mainly, I, I really wanted to start... Um, working on a setup where both microphones that I have in my stream room, um, my office, uh, record separately to OBS. So what you're hearing right now is the desk microphone. And then if I go over here, what you're hearing is the couch microphone. And this is gonna sound exactly the same as it's always been to you on stream. But right now, the two, the two different close-up things you just heard are coming into two separate audio tracks. So I had to basically just like replace all of my audio hardware. So instead of just having both mics. Um, Hi, Penny. I just wanted to say after your amazing shadow trailer, I made a new animation to alert everything for my demo reel. Keep up the great work. Hell yeah. That's that's awesome. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for the tip as well as... um. The, the, I, I'm noticing the alerts sound incredibly quiet, just so fucking quiet. Which, which is why I'm doing. I'm, this is why I'm doing this test stream because there's gonna be some. We what are you doing? What are you doing? I think he's just. In, I think he's just in a mood. I think he's just in a mood right now. Oh, he's running. Okay, I'm gonna let you out of the office. One sec, he's distracting me. Okay, I'm getting the feeling he's just being a rascal on purpose because he won't even leave the office, he like wants to be here. 
He wants to be here just to fuck things up. Yeah, see, he's like, he's over there just like, whatever. I'll just let him keep doing what he's doing. Um, okay. Uh, what was I even saying? Oh, yeah. So, so, um, so basically, all that to say, reason number one that I'm streaming this early is because this is like the first chance I've gotten uh, and the first chance I've like had the energy to um, do like a little test stream uh, to see how my audio sounds, not only like to my audience midstream, uh, but also in, in like the VOD and everything, because I basically, I just changed like so, so much. I changed so much of, uh, of my setup. It's, uh, it's, it's crazy. So yeah. Um, I'm trying to see, I'm trying to see if I can get the alerts audio source up again. Okay, yeah, so alerts, I'm going to have to probably bump up the audio of those quite a bit because for some reason, uh, it's like very quiet. Hold on. So I can, I can maybe, I can maybe bump that up to, shit, hold on. Sorry, this is, this is the nature, the test stream is going to be a little... We're gonna, we're gonna, this is gonna be super chill. Okay, and oh yeah, and then so that's that's the first reason I'm streaming this early is because I just, I wanted to test because I do want to try to stream later tonight, possibly to finish Bug Snacks. Um, Arceus, thank you for the sub. Um, I would like to possibly stream tonight if I can. Uh, we're gonna have a pretty busy day today, Joy and I. Uh, we're basically gonna be out on the town for like, the entire um, morning and like afternoon uh, touring houses uh, because uh, things are pretty dire and I'm not gonna get into all that, but they feel pretty dire to me. Um, so we're still we're still we're still looking for a place to live at the end of the month. Um, and yeah, so we're we're we're, we're gonna be <laughs> we're we're touring like three places in a row today. And then we're also going to be touring like two more places at least tomorrow. We're still we're still just like stacking up tours. So this is this is what I meant when I when I you know when I've been saying that like uh, June was going to be like a crazy month for me, um, like because it's you know our our lease is ending at the end of the month essentially. So it's like we're literally just trying to like find a place to go. Um, so that's, that's on, that's on the docket for most of today. So all that to say, um, if I have the energy to stream later tonight in the evening, which I'd like to, I'm really, I'm going to try, I'm going to try because one, I want to finish the, the Isle of Big Snacks DLC because, oh my God, there was so much more to that than I thought there would be. Um, but also just because like, I want to find as many opportunities to stream, in the near future as I can during this craziness, because I really, I really think it's going to only be easier to, uh, get back into a more consistent schedule after we've settled into whatever new place we end up finding. Um, which is probably going to be like a couple weeks into July, if not later. Um, and of course, you know, I got all, all kinds of shit going on there otherwise. Uh, however, um, is she muting for anyone else? What does that mean? What do you mean by that? Like intermittently? Hi there, Fuzzball. Bunger, thank you for coming to my TED talk. Not for me, not for me. You mean like, am I like going, so, like, it, am I cutting out? Because, you know, like, so like, I, I'm going to obviously watch this back after I'm done streaming and see if there's any audio issues I can catch for sure. But if everything sounds fine to most, I'm going to assume that's maybe just on an individual end, but we'll see. Um, obviously the, now is a better stream than ever to tell me about potential audio issues. So like, I don't mind people pointing out any potential issues because I want to see what I can, uh, what I can sort of figure out in the moment. And then once I have everything in the moment sounding good to people watching the stream later, I'm going to watch it back before I stream next. And then, um, 
I'm gonna uh I'm gonna do that. Okay, so so that's yeah. Okay, so ooh. Okay, let me let me catch my train because I'm still not done explaining why I'm streaming this early. So one reason one. This is the first chance I've gotten in a long time to just do a quick test stream because I would like to stream later tonight, but I want to make sure that my new audio setup sounds good before I do like an official stream. Um, because I have all this new equipment. I replaced my Wave XLR. By the way, if you're curious, if any if anything sounds particularly good to you or like you want some of the functionality that I've been talking about, uh, if you're curious, the equipment I'm using now is I got my hands on the Beacon Mix Create. Beacon spelled B-E-A-C-N. This is obviously not sponsored or anything. This is totally just... I bought this, I'm recommending this, because it's really cool. It's a little buggy if you're using multiple user profiles on your computer, so if you're someone like me who at the moment is sharing this PC uh, to stream uh, with, like Joy, with, with Joy and I, we, we share this PC. We use it both to stream right now until we get our own offices. Um, it it gets pretty fucking buggy. Like it's, it's, it's a little buggy anyway, the software, um, but especially if you're switching profiles and stuff, it it takes some maintenance. Um, so the Beacon Mix Create, it basically does the thing that the Wave XLR does and that the Wavelink software does from Elgato, if you're familiar with that, with like the way you can separate different programs into different audio channels easily. It does that, but it, it basically is just like a physical controller. So I have like physical knobs in front of me that I can like turn and adjust audio on the fly by like actually turning like a tactile knob. And it's not like a proprietary thing. You can use it with any audio device you have plugged in. So the other thing that is actually, cause it doesn't have any like microphone inputs on it. It's literally just one USB-C cable that plugs into your computer. Um, and it controls all of your audio on the computer. So to actually like accept my microphone input, I also got a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 and that's what's allowing me to uh, separate the mics in OBS as well. So that's a focus right. So it's like I'm using a Rode Pod mic at the moment, uh, hooked up to a focus right Scarlet 2i2, plugged into my computer through USB, and then a Beacon Mix Create is separating all of the audio from my computer into different channels and into OBS. If you're curious, so it's a new setup. A lot of the basics are similar, um, but it's uh, but it's 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 a new setup overall. So, yeah. Uh, hold on. If I am if I'm still cutting out, it's likely. It's 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 two it's either two things. It's either my noise gate in OBS or it's uh the gain on the focus right. O occasionally people will say I cut out. So I wanna hold on. So the first thing I'm gonna try here, just to see if I can eliminate any individual person saying I cut out, I'm gonna just lower my noise gate. So it's accepting more background noise. So you might hear more background noise. You might hear more of my little breaths and whatnot. Um, but here, so I just lowered it from like 39 to like, uh, or negative 39, uh, negative 39 dB to negative 45 dB. That That's a much bigger window. Let's see if that eliminates that at all. If push comes to shove, again, like I said, I'm gonna listen to this back. If I hear any like weird problems with the gain, I can just up the gain on, um, my focus right. Anyway, so first reason, test all the audio stuff. Uh, second reason, and this is what I'm about to get into. Hope everything goes well for the move. Love both your enjoy streams. Thank you. Uh, that definitely can still be louder. Thank you so much. Holy shit. Wait, I just noticed that's $50. What the fuck? Thank you. Holy shit. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Okay, I just upped the alerts to 8 dB, so hopefully that should be fine. Um... Okay, so second reason. Second reason I'm streaming this early. This is the most important one. Update day. 
New new Final Fantasy 14 titles. Arca Sodora tri uh, tribe quests are are new. Tataru quest line just for you. I'm gonna play a little bit of Pebbly Peach. Playing the new Final Fantasy. Ho. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do the part that says Harvest Moon because that is uh, that has to wait until it's um, Island Sanctuary. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna play Final Fantasy. <laughs> Basically, that's that's the only other reason I'm streaming this early is because they literally just patched it. Um, things are really quiet for me, so. I'm gonna up, up this a lot, which is a lot more than I usually do. But um, again, it's all new, kind of. I feel like in general my system audio is like, um, a bit quieter than it even normally has been with this new setup. So maybe that's just a fluke, because sometimes Windows will just be like, "Hey, all of your audio, so much quieter than normal." Sorry. Anyway, is that is that um is that audible for everybody? Yeah, so they literally just patched this. They literally just opened up the servers again like 20 minutes ago. Actually, more than 20 minutes ago because they ended like a few minutes early. Um anyway, yeah, so if you don't know, this is Pelby Peach, this is my Final Fantasy 14 character. Um I'm gonna go and start doing uh I'm just gonna I'm just gonna check out a couple things today. I wanna do the Tataru quest, so I'm gonna do that shortly. But the first thing I really want to check out is the uh, Arkazu Ar Arkazudara. I actually don't know how to say that. I feel a little bad. Um, but I want to go to, I think it'll probably be one of the Thabnir ones. I got in like 15 minutes before the hour. Yeah, I booted up the game just on a whim. I had like a little like intuition whim that was like, Oh, is this it? Ogle repays her favors. I would imagine this is it. Um, curing what ails? Oh, it's probably both of those. Okay, so I'm like a fucking fiend, and in most cases, if content isn't the main story quest or like a raid quest line or anything like that, I tend to skip it. Like if it's like side content or like unlock content, I usually I usually skip a lot of it. Um, and if it's, if it's important, I just go back and watch it later. Uh, but in terms of, like, unlocking content, I, um... Oh, I totally... I just realized I totally did not even finish my thought. Uh, yeah, so I was... I It was, like, 5.45 or something. Like, or, around that time. And I was like, I'm gonna boot up the game because sometimes they finish early. And I was like, I'm gonna boot up the game and see if they finish early today. And as I booted up the game, it worked. Like, I, I was able to get in. And then I saw on Twitter, like 30 seconds after I had done that, it, like exactly like 32 seconds after I did that, they posted an update that was like, hey, we finished early. <laughs> and I was like, holy fuck. The, pr the premonitions. The premonitions. Uh, so I'm gonna do this on Machinist because I'm still trying to get Machinist up to uh, 90, as you can see. I only have one job up to 90. I'm a, I'm a fake player. I don't actually play the content, which is why I only have like 130k gil. <laughs> I made a I made a joke about this. I made a post, a little joke post about this on Twitter recently. Um, just saw the Pat's notes. More Hildebrand. I gotta catch up with Hildebrand. I uh, I'm such a fake fan. I'm such a fake fan for my favorite game of all time. I apologize. Yeah. So I mean, we're just gonna. I'm just gonna see if I can. Well, okay. I also. Yo, Penny. This isn't necessarily a do this on stream. I just like recommending the game. Have you ever tried Sea of Thieves? Yeah, I love Sea of Thieves. That's like my online game of choice. I it's have. Good time. I have streamed Sea of Thieves uh, quite a few times before. Um, maybe even like upwards of three or four times. So, uh, go go to Snapcube too. Go 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 look for some of that if you're interested. Um. I can't say I'm all too into Sea of Thieves right now. I go, I kind of go through seasons with Sea of Thieves where um, there's like there's a period of time where it's like exactly what I'm looking for, and I'm like, oh, what a beautiful, serene pirate sim. I'll literally just like hop in solo sometimes and, and just be like, hey, 
I'm gonna just sail around, if nothing else, and just look at the fucking water, because it has, like, the best-looking water in any game. Um, but, you know, other times I'm like, it's not hidden. It's not hidden. And it hasn't... It hasn't hit for a little bit, but that's no fault of its own. Um, it's just... It's, it's the kind of game you absolutely, like, gotta be in the mood for. Otherwise, it's gonna be maybe a little rough. Also, the sound effects are way too loud. The re like the rest of it is too quiet and the sound effects are way too loud. Does anybody else agree? I agree. I don't care if you agree. I agree. System sounds down too. Bye. Get out of here. I don't fucking care about you. I don't care about the menus that go ding, ring, ding, ding, ding. That's going on in my brain every moment of, of, of every waking day. Honey, when the hell did you get the flying shadow of the hedgehog cycle? This thing? Uh, it's on the it's on the online store that you pay it it's it's one of the amounts you pay real bucks money for unfortunately hey everybody hey it's update day let's celebrate oh I I've like really upped my um my uh keybind macro game I have so many cool fucking keybinds right now um so as uh as you can see uh, I have, obviously, th I've showed this on stream before, but I have these, like, quick menus that I have that I that I am able to toggle um, that help me just, like, pick stuff really quick, change change jobs on the fly. Um, but also, um, I just added these the other day. Uh, so they, they recently added, because um, in... in N Walker, they had, uh, they introduced like these new uh, un unsheath and sheath emotes that they used in cutscenes for your player character, because like normally the sheathing and unsheath animation is like pretty gamified. You know, it's like it's it's very quick, it's very snappy, it's 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 purely functional, right? There's a little flair, but it's purely functional. Um, they added like really cool, like dedicated, like slower animations that are a lot more detailed and have a little bit more like presentational flair that they used in cutscenes and everyone was like oh my god these look so cool what the fuck these are new and then what they did recently is that they added them as emotes that you can actually just use whenever so i have bound to e my like my cool unsheathed emote and then that unsheaths for an indefinite period of time and then i have bound to shift e the really cool uh regular sheath emote and uh, I've been leveling Ninja, which is still at Rogue right now, as you can see. Um, also, as you can see, uh, I have it <laughs> as, uh, hold on. What's the, uh, what's the fucking, I have, wait, shift, oh, it's R. Okay, yeah, so I, on, on R, I have uh, show and hide sheathed weapons which is useful for like crafting jobs where i like just kind of want to look casual and don't want to always have like a pot sticking on my hip uh, and, and on shift r which is really useful for this uh, assassin glamour uh i i have the show and hide uh headgear macro set to set to shift r so for this assassin glamour which as you can see is clearly inspired by my recent addiction to assassin's creed um uh, I can, I can, I can go, I can go hood up or hood down at any time, which is nice. Um, but I, uh, so I was circling back around to say I especially love the new ninja, uh, sheath and unsheath animations. The unsheath is so fucking cool. It's so cool. I, I can't deal. And then the, the sheath, the sheath looks good too, but you know what I love doing with the ninja, uh, sheath emote? It's just so fun. <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> uh, and then I have a uh, toggle RP walk to, to just F. Um, okay, anyway, um, let me get back to doing this because I am actually, uh, I'm, on a, I'm on a bit of a time crunch today, which is, which is also an excuse that I have for, for skipping all the dialogue for this. Um, because we we got we're, we're starting tours early today i mentioned we're we're doing tours i gotta remember it's shift r okay we're doing a lot of house tours today 
Um, and we're starting pretty early. Our first one's at like 10. So I gotta hop off stream at like nine, nine like 20, 9.30, just to make sure we're all ready to do that. So I'm on a time crunch, I'm on a time crunch. Boo, 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 boo. I gotta go. Oh, am I gonna have enough time to, oh, it's, it's 6.30. I'm probably gonna have enough time to do the Tata requests. I'm so excited for those. I'm just gonna get one, uh, I'm just gonna get one cycle of, of dailies in with the, uh, with the Akaz Akazadara. I swear to God, I, I hope I'm saying that correct. Is everybody helping me out with, no, nobody's helping me out with locations? Okay. Um, oh, I also like super duper uh, minim minimalized. Where am I in the main story quest? Uh, I'm, I, 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 the only thing I haven't done is the recent 6.1 quest. I, I basically, the last thing I did was, was, was the very end of Endwalker. I finished Endwalker and I haven't started the new stuff yet. I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna wait to start the newfound adventure stuff until we're like either a lot closer to the next expansion or if I just get really, really bored one day and I'm like, oh, I gotta start this shit now because it seems like it's pretty minimal at the moment um, in terms of like story progression. I like I haven't seen people going crazy about newfound adventure, which which makes sense. It's it's a it's the start of a new story arc. The whole point is that it's gonna be a little bit slower, a little more understated than than like Shadowbringers and Endwalker were. Um, but so like I, yeah, I'm I'm just I'm okay waiting for now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until there's a little bit more to chew on before I start that most likely, unless it becomes like necessary to do in order to do stuff like Island Sanctuary, which I don't know. For sure, for sure. Uh, <laughs> sorry, that's, a, that's Andrew Garfield, Spider-Man. Just one guy, just one Spider-Man or woman. We don't know, for sure. Uh, if it's necessary to, to 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 do it in order to, where the fuck is this last person? If it's necessary to do it for Island Sanctuary, then I will do it in a heartbeat. Nothing is going to keep me away from Island Sanctuary when that comes out. I swear to God, I'm so excited. 6.2 is coming out like what, August? I think August, August this year. It's so close. It's so close, but like that's, that's literally the definition of so close, but so far. Where the fuck is the last person? Hello? The Indifferent Cat, thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. I, I, I'm, I must be losing my mind. I must be losing my mind. Why can't I find, hold on. None of the doors are open. You gotta be outside, right? Just one guy, just one Spider-Man, or woman, we don't know, for sure. I, I got it stuck in my head now. Here you are, oh my God. Why are you all the way over here, man? Big pocket, that sounds fun, we should do that. Just shelve everything else until Island Sanctuary is done screaming at you cowards. I disagree. Uh, but also, I mean, they're almost done anyway. It, we don't even need to take such drastic measures. Yo, so funny, thanks for the sub and also the indirect compliment. I appreciate it. I am so funny. It's so funny. I want, yo, so funny, it is now officially your duty. And, and I, this is something I'm placing on you with no, no agency of your own here. This is just something you gotta do, I'm sorry. Um, uh, this is you have to you have to resub every time I say something funny. <laughs> it's it's the law. You have to you have to you have to resub every time I I do something that's haha haha -ha worthy. Obviously, obviously I'm kidding. But n but not in a way that's funny, and you have to resub for it. No, not wait. Hold on. Oh God. Yeah, unsub right now so you can resub again in like 20 minutes. That's the way to do it. Quick say Kawa Boomer. Shit, I said it. I, I was gonna say no. I don't wanna say that. Get out of here. I don't care about your stupid. <laughs> Hold on, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that on stream because people are like people already people already gave me shit 
uh, in my like Shadowbringer stream comments like way back when I did that. Um, that was like, like people gave me a lot of shit for like saying funny things like now die to Emmett Selk when I got to the end of that game, even though I was clearly like super invested, like I was sobbing. Oh shit. Oh, it's one of these. Oh my God. Okay. I'm, can I be real? I'm officially maybe a little sick of these. Oh, oh, it's a stealth mission. I, I'm gonna be honest. That's my bad for skipping the cutscene and not reading the fucking. Um, anyway. No, people gave me such shit for not treating the story with, like, the most reverence possible, even though I do. <laughs> like, this is, like, way at the Disney location to follow the boy without being seen. That's self doubt. <laughs> Sorry about your name. Which. Okay, I'm. I'm actually a little bit lost. I'm sorry. This is this is my bad. This is, I'll take the L on this one. I'll take the L on this one. Anyway, no, I can't be I can't be even slightly joking about not caring. Okay, sure. Wait. Pickpocket appears, then takes Ogle's bait. Tail carefully after the boy thief, and see where, and more importantly, in whom he leads you to. Where's Ogle? Sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh no. What am I supposed to be looking for? Oh. Oh, that's a Oh, oh, Ogle. Got it. Got it. Got it. There he is. There's Ogle. Though you'd already beaten N Walker, is this a different character? This is not N Walker. I mean, well, technically it is. It's post patch. Con I mean, this is this is the same character. I'm not doing I'm not doing the main Endwalker story. There's more stuff to do in an MMO. Come on. Oh, cool. What the fuck? I'm. <laughs> Part of me think. Hold on. I maybe have to abandon this one and just start start over because I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on. This is this is my problem. This is I this is definitely my fault. Hold on. Let me restart. Let me let me let me get all my let me get all my gooses in order here. Did you eat breakfast? Um I'm having a coffee right now. Um I technically ate breakfast. Uh I I I, I was up at like 3 a.m. Um I I had I had some leftover like Caesar grilled chicken wrap at like at like two in the morning, I want to say. So yeah, I, like I, I technically ate in the morning, but um. Okay. Okay, we're looking for the stranger, Bobby Boo. We have so you can see it being stolen from afar. Okay. I'm trying to think maybe do I make do okay wait 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 now I'm thinking do I maybe have to like step away from this just enough to where like I don't get instantly spotted okay okay let me watch the cutscene fucking guy. Look at him. What's he doing? Oh, he's up to mischief. This dude. <laughs> does he, like, does he, like, steal it on... Oh, you know what? 
Oh, this is the part. Oh, he. Oh, okay. I really should have watched this the first time. <laughs> That's totally. Oh my god. I didn't see it coming. I I totally forgot that they introduced like these new like stealth missions and 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 all this kind of shit. Okay, so now. Okay, so he's what he's yeah. What the fuck? He was right there the whole time? Huh? Okay, am I going crazy or like was that that dude not there? Was I just always looking in the wrong direction every single time it was relevant for me to look over there? I don't know. Or do they do they actively punish you for skipping the cutscene? Quick and quiet as a mouse. Well, you got the quick part down. He is the mouse. Nope, no one's here. Boy thief, the thief who steals boys. God damn. Shoplifting being taken to a new level. I want that pod. I want that pod. Oh no! I gotta, I gotta finish the near raids. I still haven't done all the near raids. I started working on those again recently, and then I got to, I unlocked the puppets bunker. But I get so, I get so nervous going into raids. I'm so, I'm so bad at raids. I should watch a guide, but then I got bored. Okay, I feel, I feel fine about skipping this one. Nice. No consequences. Penny, I don't want to go to work. Please advise. Um, uh, go to work, and then while you're there, use the power of imagination to imagine you're actually in a fairy tale land. Uh... I don't know. I don't know where you work, so I don't. I don't have any. I, ca I can't. I can't dive into it more. I'm like a. I'm like an AI. If you provide me with more input information, I can spit out a better uh, <laughs> result. <laughs> I'm not asking you to like dox yourself. I'm just saying it's just the way it works. I don't actually need to know where you work. Nor nor do I particularly want to. I'm not saying it'd be the worst thing in the world, but like at the same time. It's not something I'm seeking. I just gotta be clear about that. Penny has invented daydreaming. <laughs> Wait a minute. I've heard <laughs> I've heard of maladaptive daydreaming, but not galadaptive daydreaming. Whoa! Holy shit! Oh my god, she said so. She said it. It was so funny. It was so funny. They literally never saw a funnier Twitch stream after that. It was sad. It was it's really really sad. Sad that, that that was the that was the that was the last bastion of uh that, that was the final frontier of stream comedy that we just did. All right, on to the next one. We have more cutscenes to skip. Chop chop. We can't delay. <laughs> This this is one of my favorite mounts. I don't know why. It's just the way it, the way it's animated, um, and like the proportions of like your character model sitting on or my character model, I guess specifically. Um, it's really satisfying to look at. I don't know. Was there a? Oh my god! There's an etherite right here. Clownery. Literally clown behavior. Oh my god. Ew. That's a donkey. That's not a clown. Clowns and donkeys probably have like a common ancestor with that kind of Yo, okay. <laughs> those those like Reaper portals. It's actually around it's actually in this specific area. That's so funny. It's in this specific area where I started noticing those Reaper portals when I was playing through the main story of N Walker. Um 
and they were freaking me out. I was like, is this like a, I, like, I didn't know what they were. I was like, what the fuck is going on? I was like, is it this, I was like, is this like a cool, like, Easter egg they're putting in that's like gonna come back later in the story? Which honestly, like, would have been incredible. Could you imagine if, like, throughout one of the future expansions, they have, like, a little visual Easter egg that pops up every so often while you're playing the main story? And if you catch it just quickly enough, it's like a little, it's like a little hint of what's to come, like that. And it happens in real time and disappears like while doing a certain quest and 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 if you don't if you don't catch it then you miss it and sure it would be detrimental if you miss it but if you do catch it it's like a cool little thing i thought i thought that's what those portals were i was like what the fuck is going i was like is the integrity of the world falling apart and in a way it was but not not in the way i thought god that i i thought it was so cool i thought it was so cool when i assumed that's what it was it was freaking me out in like the best way um but alas she being tailed by a squirrel. Yeah, that's a, uh, that is a, uh, that is Squirrel Emperor. That's a, that's the actual name of the minion. I didn't I didn't name that. You can't name your minions, which by the way is a big is a huge mechanical oversight. Yoshi P, add minion naming. What are we doing? What like what are we doing if we can't name our minions? What are we even doing in this game? What is there to do? <laughs> that is the content. Get out of here. Shut the fuck up. Get out of here. I changed to, um, I changed to legacy style character movement yesterday because I thought it would be a lot easier to do, um, those, like, those eyeball prompts that pop up on screen and they have, they want your character model to look away. It's like so much easier to do those with legacy style character movement because with normal character movement you literally have to like whip your whole camera around at the very least uh but you know hey i watched your ration clank streams on snapkeep too and clearly you enjoyed a lot i also started playing after those streams but i have a question between up your arsenal a crack in time and rift apart what order would you most likely revisit those three games um that's a good question. That's a good question. Uh, well, I, I mean, I actually have like a, a practical answer that has happened in real life since I did my initial playthroughs of both of those. Um, I immediately went back to Rift Apart to play it on the hardest difficulty, just to challenge myself. I just, I just want to see, and I, and I, I didn't beat it, not because it was too hard, but because I just didn't, I, just, I got distracted. Um. I beat Elden Ring, if you don't know, so, like, no no game is too hard for me. Uh, except Metroid Dread. <laughs> but, so, so yeah, I guess, I guess I immediately went back to Rift Apart after beating it on stream. So that was, that would be the first one. Second one is, uh, is Up Your Arsenal, because I, I, I have dabbled in, in replaying a bit of Up Your Arsenal. Not, not extensively. I have, I've never gotten past the first level, really, in, in in my subsequent playthroughs or be, but like I'll just mainly like test it out on like emulators and stuff. Um like I I I, I put it on like it's on my Steam Deck. I have it on my Steam Deck and uh, I I booted it up a couple times. Um So that would be the next one and then I I haven't I haven't played a crack in time really since uh since streaming it. Actually, that's not true. I I played a little bit of the um the like the extended difficulty like clank puzzles but really only for like one night and it really wasn't for very long at all so uh yeah i get a rift apart up your arsenal and then a crack in time not because a crack in time is like less good than the others I, I honestly really think i regard all three of them on like equal levels of quality if nothing else with rift apart maybe just inching out above the other two because that game is so fucking good um that game is unbelievably satisfyingly good for how long it was since since the last like real r new ratchet entry um so you know but the the rest of them are like it 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 really just comes down to the fact that like uh a crack in time as good of a game it is it is at the moment stuck on the ps3 um it has had not a single re-release to its name 
Um, and yeah, y you can stream it on PS Now. Oh, well, I guess you can't anymore. Because <laughs> PS Now does not exist anymore. Um, but I think it'll still be available for streaming on the new, the new PlayStation Plus this month. But like, at the same time, who really uses the streaming? I, I usually, I use it occasionally if I'm desperate. I have a couple PS3s that I can play native PS3 games on. It's just, I don't always have them set up. So like setting them up and also especially getting them to work with like my capture card system is a fucking pain because I always have to strip the uh, HD copyright protection because as, as shitty as Sony's HDCP implementation on the PS4 and PS5 is where you have to like manually turn it off and on entirely if you want to like use a capture card um and you have to like manually turn it on entirely if you want to use like if you want to like even listen to music while you play games god i fucking hate that system so much xbox does it so much better um when it's like a, it's like a per app thing for xbox and like you can actually listen to spotify like for example while playing games and being plugged into a capture card and it doesn't it doesn't trigger the hdcp because music is like this weird like gray area it's, it's not really, but people treat it like a gray area, uh, including me. <laughs> um, but anyway, but like the PS3, HDCP was like, it, it's like locked into the uh, HDMI signal. Like you cannot turn it off on a system level. You literally have to like uh, strip it from, from the HDMI signal in order to uh, get it to work with capture cards through HDMI. And, and thankfully, there are ways to do that. If you put it through a particular kind of splitter, it'll it'll strip the HDCP off of it, and you get, like, full-quality HDMI, but with, you can, like, capture it. Um, but it's just so cumbersome. The PS3 is, like, one of my favorite consoles of all time, but it's also one of the least convenient to get going for me. Which So, again, that's, that's why I, I haven't jumped to replay a crack in time. as much as I like it. Penny 3 PS3 is confirmed. I, <laughs> I think I do actually have exactly three PS3s. That's not a joke. I'm trying to think, do, do I have three? No, I think I have three PS2s. I think I have two PS3s. <laughs> <laughs> it's its own fun form of irony. Because I... Well, let me think. Because I have... Hmm. I don't know. I, I think that's it, though. Because cause with PS3s, I have the... I have the slim PS3 that I've had since, like, 2010. Then... I have... The original, not the original, original model, but one of the old models that can do PS2 software emulation, like partial software emulation. So you can play most PS2 games, not all of them, but most. And it, and they, and most of them run reasonably well, except ironically Ratchet and Clank, which runs like absolute dog shit on that model PS3 because it's not native anymore. Um, both of those. I can't remember if I got another fat PS3 model. Part of, like, part of me wants to say I did, but I don't... I, I feel like I, I shouldn't assume that. I haven't checked in a while. I don't know. I, uh... I went through, I went through a weird just buying old consoles phase, for, for sure, for, like, a couple years. And I still... I still, to this day, I want to get my hands on, um... Like it, like an like an original original uh, PS3, like fat PS3 that um, um, does like the native PS2 backwards compatibility. Because the cool thing about that is that my ideal PlayStation setup, as recommended by Mystic Ryan on YouTube, um, is having a PS5 for PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 games, and then having an OG launch PS3 model for PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, 
and PlayStation 1 games. So you can you can literally, if you have the right model, you can only have two consoles hooked up and be able to play all five generations of PlayStation on on two consoles. It's insane. I, I want I want it so bad. Um and like they have the OG models on PlayStation, but there's two sticking points. One, I just can't justify the cost right now, especially right now, like in the middle of moving and everything. Um because they go for like they go for like two hundred to three hundred dollars, which is like insane. But also, secondly, early PS3s have a have a higher than ideal fail failure rate. Um, and there are ways to fix that, I believe, but they involve, like, soldering and stuff, which is, like, not something I know how to do. And, like, maybe that's something I could get into in order to, you know... Like, like that's something I could work to over time in order to uh, facilitate this, like, dream setup of mine. But it's not something you can just do on the drop of a hat. Um, so, yeah. We'll see. Maybe, maybe someday in the near future, though. God, yeah, that that would be the dream. That'd be the dream. Honestly, though, right now I can get as close as possible to that dream with the current fast fat PS3 model that I have. What I'd like to do before, like, before considering getting like an OG PS3 model off of eBay, um, assuming I can't find like a really cheap one somewhere else. Joy's been Joy's been looking at like estate sales recently, like crazy. That's been like a new, a new like kind of thing she's into uh and we found a couple like cool like old consoles and stuff um at these estate sales and so we're thinking like if we keep looking maybe we'll find like some cool stuff like 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 an og ps3 model or whatever uh but we'll see um but anyway what I can do for now after I move most likely is uh, what what the current plan is, what I'd like to do is, um, you know, one, once I get my new office set up, wherever we end up, um, I can plug in the current PS2 backwards compatible PS3 I have. Because it, it's half software emulation. So again, like the, the, the success rate for PS2 compatibility is noticeably lower than the native compatibility, but it's still high enough that it's, like, a cool feature. Um, and I can just plug that in and make do with that. And any blind spots, I can just occasionally plug in a PS2 or, like, emulate it on PC or something. Um, and then plug in my PS5. And what I'd like to see if I can do is get a hard drive, like, get a hard drive replacement for the PS3 model that I have. Uh, and greatly increase the storage space if possible because like those OG PS3s are like anywhere from like 6 to 8 gigabytes wait maybe that's not true no I think 60 to 80 I think I don't know uh, but they're they're crazy low essentially 6 to 8 is like way too like, I, I can't remember the exact numbers but it's like it's something really really low for the games you're downloading um, and when I was using that, that fat PS3 to stream like a crack in time and stuff before I, uh, replaced it in my setup with my original PS3 because it like overheated that one time. Um, and I was a little worried about it. Um, I, uh, I was having so much trouble finding space for all those Ratchet and Clank games. Even just within the Ratchet and Clank series, I did not have the space to have all the games installed. Um, so I literally had to like, uh, uh, I, 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 I just, I had to constantly delete and re-download games and that was so annoying. So what I'd like to do is, once I get, once I get my new office, <clears throat> upgrade that hard drive space if I can. Um, upgrade the hard drive space. Plug in that model PS3, see if it runs well enough over time and doesn't run into many other like overheating issues because I think that mainly had something to do with the environment that I had it in. It was it was pretty boxed in when I was running that stream, um, which I maybe should have seen coming. But I'd like to give it some space, like to, to air out and not overheat. Upgrade the storage space. So I have 
a PS3 that can run, obviously, PS3 games, and then um, most PS2 games, and then the uh, and then the PS1 because all PS3s are PS1 backwards compatible, and then of course my PS5, which can do five and four. Um, yeah. I thought you bought the OG PS3 to play physical PS2 games. Yeah, I did, but it's just, it's not, it's not all the way compatible. So I still ideally would want to get a, like a launch launch model, which is natively compatible with PS2 games because it literally has the PS2 computer on its motherboard. The model that I got has like half of a PS2 on its motherboard but does the rest through software, which can still get you a lot of decent PS2 game compatibility, which is why it's still cool to have, but it's not ideal. But it's just that OG model is like really hard to find at either a reasonable price um, or uh, like in good condition. Because obviously they haven't made them in many, many years. Good old IBM Toshiba Emotion Engine. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. I like PlayStation a lot. I, I've, I've, I've been through most of, uh, most of my sort of video game experiences with, with PlayStation in one way or another. Like a stand, just teleport back here. See you, Killed Comics. Thanks so much for dropping by, and thank you for all the donations. I appreciate it. My first console was the PSP, or as I like to call it, God's mistake. Hey, do not slander the PSP. What is wrong with you? That 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 is the only console that has Neopets Pet Pet Adventures on it. You're really gonna call it God's mistake? when it's the only way you can play Neopets Pet Pet Adventures? I don't think so. I don't think so, not in my house. Also, Penny, you have a 3080 that'll do nicely for PC SX2 with the right config. Oh yeah, I've, I already, I literally like the, uh, I like a week or two ago, played a little bit of Up Your Arsenal um, on PC SX2. And yes, you're you're correct. It ran fantastically. But also, I don't know. It's just even even when emulation runs really well, for any console older than PS3, it's just not the same as playing on original hardware. It really isn't. Like there's something about playing on OG hardware or at least as close to an equivalent of OG hardware as you can get that like really improves the experience of a game, IMO. Like, I don't, I I have never been able to, like, put real time into a game on PCSX2 if it wasn't for, like, a Let's Play or something. Like, I don't ever play PCSX2, like, casually. I don't, I don't emulate a lot of things casually. The Steam Deck might change that over time, and it kind of has for the most part. But that's like the one exception because it's like portable. But like just at my desk, I'm like, why would I sit here at my computer desk and play a PlayStation 2 game? <laughs> like, I don't know. Mm -mm. Wow, this, uh, this story seems like it's really good. God, oh my god, these setup quests are so long. I have have, have other uh tribal quest quest lines like been this long before? I feel like most of them are at least a bit shorter than this. I just I just want to get my dailies in. I'm I am 
in a stark contrast to how I usually treat this game, I am here for the gameplay right now. The dwarf one in Shadowbringers was pretty long intro, right? I actually don't remember. I like did that, and I don't, I don't really remember. I'm li <laughs> we're we're burning daylight here though. Actually, the sun's coming up in real life. That's great. I'm just thinking like I gotta end stream at like nine, most likely. Maybe nine fifteen if I if I really want to push it. <clears throat> So I only have a couple hours to do this and also do the Tata requests, which I don't know how many of those, how many of those there are. Honestly, if I don't feel like playing bug stats on tonight's stream, which is a very likely possibility, I might just come back to this. We'll see. Fourteen has so much to love, but I don't personally find the optional junk as fun. That's fair. That's fair. I mean, my the main draw for me to this game is definitely the main story. Um, main story and glamour are really my my two like my two pillars of what made this my favorite game of all time. But that is not to say I do not enjoy the side content. I really just think it comes down to like finding finding the thing that is fun for you because there's like a million and two things to do in this game. I constantly forget about things that I'm able to do in this game. Constantly. Like I'll go like, I'll go six months without ever thinking about treasure maps. And then I'll watch a video that's like, here's how you can make Gil. And it's like, do treasure maps. And I'm like, what the fuck? I forgot about treasure maps. What the hell? Like it's, it's stuff like that all the time where I'll just literally forget a feature of the game entirely. And then someone else mentions it. And I'm like, oh yeah, I could have been doing that this whole time. There's so much, there, there's, there's so much to this game, it's insane. Which is cool, because it, it, it kind of, I mean, in a way, like, it really does kind of bring it together and feeling like a cool little world where, like, you can sort of make a name for yourself doing whatever you want. As long as you're also doing the main story. <laughs> it's the one, the one mandatory thing. And then eventually the raids that tie into the main story. Treasure maps are awesome. I like doing them with friends too. Yeah, I, uh, I, uh, I, I so, I so badly have. Uh, I do not have very many like close friends that play. I'm obviously I'm trying to change that every day. Fingers crossed. But um, uh, I also don't have many close friends that play and also can frequently just hop into like an eight-person party. I don't, I don't have enough friends who frequently play enough to make an eight-person party to begin with. But to like organize that, I don't know. I, I legitimately like this, you know, this is something I I hesitate to talk about on stream because like it puts me in a position where I feel like I'm then gonna start getting like, I don't know. So I am a pretty uh, lady. That's not what I meant to say, I was just changing. Uh, I am a <laughs> I, so I'm a pretty like, reserved person socially um i know i can get pretty insane and wacky and maybe a little bold on stream uh in terms of how i interact with people um but overall like in 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 day to day i'm like incredibly uh reserved and like honestly to a fault i i find it very very hard to to go out of my way to uh, be social, um, which is like you know I don't I don't know it's 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 I hesitate to say it's not how it used to be because I feel like it's not how it used to be but at the same time um, I've always been pretty introverted um, and I always tend to default to alone time just when it, whenever I'm like I my like idle state is not with people most days my idle state is like like blasting music in my ears and like just fucking leveling rogue or something <laughs> like that that's kind of like my my default at the moment um it's been that way for a while but anyway 
I over time have obviously noticed that it it you know it it at times diminishes my quality of life to not be really social. Um because one like humans are social creatures and it is very important to get socialization in to like stay mentally well and interpersonally healthy. Um you need to like know how to interact with people if you want to like exist, you know, you got to you got to develop cuz like it's a fucking skill. It's it is a like skill to 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 be around people and deal with people. And like you can tell when someone is not super skilled in that regard. Um and it's like, you know, over, over time as you get older and you try to do more things in life, it, it becomes very necessary to sort of break out of out of uh that bubble, I guess. Um, and I, I, and I, and I think I'm pretty good with people, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a generally pretty polite person. I think I, I get along with a lot of people simply by default because I'm kind of, I'm kind of low maintenance. I'm very unassuming, uh, in most regards. Um, I'm very polite. I, you know, <laughs> I feel like I'm talking myself up here, but like, it's true. I'm, I'm, I'm a very polite person. I, I, you know, I, my, my stream persona is really just not at all how I actually interact with people. Um, like, unless I'm really comfortable with them. Like, you you really only see, like, performance Penny when I'm, like, comfortable enough to be that. And, you know, when it's obviously appropriate. Um, but, anyway. This is, I'm, I'm, I'm going on a tangent here. This is literally unrelated to, so, so anyway. What 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 I was gonna say is that like I hesitate to say this on stream because I feel like it puts some weird like pressure on I I don't know it's there's a weird dynamic to it I think but at this, but it's just it's relevant so I'm just like it, the subject of treasure maps made me think of it where I was like oh yeah lately I've been considering like just trying to interact with more people in like you know in games specifically right now. Like that that's that's where my brain is right now where I'm like, oh, I got like this new headset on PlayStation that like you know, it has like a microphone and I'm like should I like should I should I play like online stuff? Like I'm thinking like should I maybe like try and like mic up just 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 to see what happens and see if I can like meet people cuz you know, that's something I've I've wanted to do for a little bit cuz like I need uh I don't know. I I just need I just need more I like I need I need uh like a like a social group that I can just like fucking be in my idle state with and for some reason it's been very hard for me to uh like settle into that in my current position and so I want to be like a little bit more um outgoing I guess so so you know I've I've been thinking like oh should I like maybe look for like a like a Final Fantasy static or like see if I can like join a fucking group or whatever. And the reason why I say this is like one of those things where it's like maybe a little bit weird to talk about on stream. It's like, um, it's like, I don't, I don't want people to like seek me out, you know, <laughs> in that regard. If it, if it was ever a case where I like joined a group or something and someone was like, oh, I know your streams. If it, if that interaction like went any farther than that <laughs> in in a position where I'm just trying to like be a person and just interact with people on like an equal level, I would probably not come back to that group. <laughs> like I don't I don't always want to be in like content creator mode, you know? Like which my audience is not big enough to facilitate always being in content creator mode. Thank God. I like I like I have enough anonymity that I feel like I can I can be in a lot of situations where I am on like an equal playing field with people, which is such a blessing. Um, obviously, there are, there are benefits to an audience growing. Uh, you know, like financially, it's definitely beneficial, um, and you know, clout wise, it's beneficial. But at the same time, the more you kind of grow into that, the the harder it becomes to separate your your life life and your like content life. And this is something I already struggle with, and I'm not even that big. So it's like, I don't know. Mm. 
I just, I like, I, I just, you know, I just wouldn't want it to be a case where I'm like, oh, I want to, I like, I want to find Final Fantasy groups to play with, and then it's like, I get a bunch of invites, and it's like, come join my group, Penny, and it's like, I, 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 I appreciate it, but at the same time, I hope you understand why I cannot do this. <laughs> I, sin I sincerely hope this is the like we're nearing we're nearing the end of this uh, quest chain here. I I don't understand I don't understand why there's so much. It's like they want to tell me like a meaningful story or something. Why would they do that? Don't they know I play this game for the guns? Everyone needs to start gatekeeping Penny so she can stay <laughs> relatively anonymous. Oh, please. Wait, no, but actually, I... Okay. Obviously, okay, that's a joke. I, I genuinely really fucking love it when people, like, share clips of my streams and stuff. I, like, I, I, I logged on to TikTok recently. Because I, I technically have a TikTok account that I want to start using eventually. And I've mentioned plans to start using it, but at the moment, it's like just literally there for me to watch stuff occasionally. I don't use TikTok that much, but um, I was curious and I looked up, I looked at the snap cube tag and obviously it's a lot of dub stuff, like a lot of Sonic dub stuff. That's the main thing you'll find on there. But I saw a couple people like posting clips and like compilations of like the Resident Evil 7 Let's Play and like my Stanley Parable stream. And like they actually did like really well. And I was like, what the, f I was like, what the fuck? That feels really good. I was like, I'm not, I'm not used to like non-Sonic dub content of mine, like kind of, kind of popping off on TikTok a little bit. So it was really neat. It was really neat. I was like, that feels good. I was like, that feels really good. So obviously, this is, this is if anything, this is uh, vocal encouragement. Uh, please feel free to like share my stuff on TikTok or whatever. I'm gonna start my own like, I'm gonna start my own clip channels uh, in the next couple months. But like. And this is this is pretty much a like a like a wide breath kind of thing. Um, I like uh, I totally encourage and endorse like fan made like compilations and um, like edits and 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 stuff. Like obviously I know we have like the main compilations going on Snapcube and like the main uh, highlight edits from Ellie on Snapcube at the moment. And those are obviously, you know, I would I would encourage people to consider that like the main source of like my edited down stuff because it, it helps me like to, to support those videos. It supports me in turn. <laughs> um, whoa, this is the mount. This is the mount I'm really excited for. It. Um, but at the same time, if anyone ever wanted to like for just pulling an, an example off the top of my head, like go back to one of like the Ratchet and Clank streams or something and make like a like a highlight video i'd be totally down for that this is this is not me asking for it by the way this is not i'm not trying to like i'm not trying to inception ideas in your brain i'm just saying like i've i've had people ask on like tumblr before like hey are you cool with like fan made edits and i'm like yeah please like i'm i love that shit i love seeing what people do with those um so uh and then that goes for like tiktok as well obviously um this is all this is all within the context that like please credit, you know? Like don't just don't just don't just freeboot my shit <laughs> and like post it somewhere uh, without crediting. But I trust I trust that most people who are like in the circle of fans who would do that uh, like and actually like watch my streams and stuff and are listening to it right now would know that anyway. Cuz I'm not just like a meme clip, you know. Like you're listening to me talk as a person right now, so I feel like that comes with its own like understanding of like immediate understanding of boundaries, I would assume, in that regard. But with like the dubs and stuff, I feel like clips from that like get so widespread that they just become like a like a meme to people removed from like the like the people behind it. Uh, which has been a problem in the past where like, you know Well that is not not a problem. I like I I've never I've never fucking gotten on to anybody for posting an uncredited dub clip, I don't think. And if I ever did, it's something I probably regret doing. Um, but, like, you know, like, there, there have been there have been occasions where, like, 
high profile Twitter accounts will like, like there, there was, there was like a, I don't even know what it was. There was like a, like a sports announcement. It's like, I don't even go here. I don't know anything about this, this place, but there was like a sports announcement, like a, like a year or, or two ago. I don't even remember when it was. And they like used a bit of like Alfred's Eggman announcement speech from the Sonic Adventure 2 dub in like the announcement video on Twitter. And I was just like, that's fucking weird. Cause like, we made that. <laughs> it's like we, like we made that. I edited that myself. I remember putting the the voice effects on that clip, painstakingly cutting it, all that shit. And then you know people just people use it like it's just like, uh, like it just came from the ether, you know. Which again, I you know it's not something I'm ever gonna like enforce as like an issue, but it's just interesting to me. It's interesting how once something kind of like leaves the immediate like bubble of like fandom or whatever um it is so much easier for it to lose like all inherent identity and it, it just kind of becomes like this uh this this disparate thing Speaking of edited videos, I've recently revisited your RE7 Let's Play and it's still so good the second time around. Hope you're having a good morning. Thank you. I am having actually quite a good morning. I don't know, I feel good today. I just took a shower and that's probably why. <laughs> I took a shower before I, I, I took a shower. I'm drinking a cup of, cup of uh, cold brew coffee. I'm playing my favorite game. I'm on, I'm on like one of the chillest streams I've done in a million years. Just feels good. I'm just, I'm just talking. So I'm having, I'm having a good day so far. Um, I honestly, I've thought about, and y'all, y'all can let me know if this would be something y'all be interested in. I have thought about if there's ever like a content lull, um, maybe asking Ellie to like go through the Resident Evil 7 Let's Play and make like a highlight compilation of that to put on main snap cube. I feel like that'd be kind of a, a weird thing to do for the pre-recorded Let's Plays, but also I do kind of like the idea of those videos getting more traction because I am so proud of that Let's Play. I am so insanely proud of that Let's Play. Pretty much every Let's Play I've ever done with Chase is like one of my favorites I've ever done in my entire career. <laughs> um, Luigi's Mansion 3 is maybe the only exception, but even then I still think what we did of that was really good. It was just we didn't finish it because we kind of got sick of the game. I've never been to a chill penny stream. This is so nice. Thank you, Brave Birds. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't do many of these anymore. Mainly just because, like, uh, you know, I, I obviously like, I'm, I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a field where all of my peers are constantly fucking raising the bar in terms of what is possible with stream content, and so it got to a point where I feel like every individual stream has this pressure to be like the new like best stream I've done. You know, which is, is it, it doesn't often happen, but I'm always like trying to think like, you know, how can I do this in like the funniest way possible? Which is good for bits, but sometimes it just, oh, well, sometimes it's exhausting. So it's really nice to every once in a while just have like a, like a reset like this where I can just, I can just be on air. What are you hoping to see for today, Sonic Central? Nothing in particular. I, I'm, I'm kind of just, I'm just gonna take whatever they give me, cause like we, I mean, we know kind of what's, what's the deal with upcoming Sonic stuff. That's like the most imperative. Um, yes! Oh, thank God. Fuck yeah. Yes. All right, let's do a couple of these. Um, yeah, I mean, apparently we're getting um, the first like hands-on written preview of Sonic Frontiers today from people at IGN who have actually played the game and are like journalists and can like talk about their experience with it, and it's not just like a like a canned video from Sega. Um, so I am actually excited about that, but that's not. That's not tied to Sonic Central. That's just going to be like on Twitter and on IGN. So, 
I'm definitely keeping an eye out for that. Uh, and that's that's being posted at 12 today, so 12 Eastern. So I am looking forward because honestly, people like the people who have actually like played the game and are gonna like write about it and write about the preview have been like really implying that it's maybe a bit more positive than the preview footage that we've gotten so far makes it seem. <sighs> what is this music? That's really I like it. Ooh, hold on now. Hold on now, hold the fuck on. So can you shouldn't have, if this was you. Okay, let's fucking go, we got, we got, we got tribe quests to do, baby. I gotta, I gotta get out of the habit of calling them beast tribes. I'm so glad they changed that name. I know technically, like, they are, like, beast tribes up until this point, but, like, it just, it just becomes a little weird when, when, especially in the case of, like, Endwalker, where they're, like, fully personified, and they're, like, a whole ass, like, civilization, and then you get, you get, like, a, <laughs> you get, like, you do the daily quest, and it's like, oh, look at these beasts. And it's like, okay. It's, that's maybe some weird vibes. Yeah, they definitely, they, I, I feel like the way they've handled, like, the tribe quests and, like, just the tribe writing in general has been greatly improved uh, since Aroma Reborn. Just rookie. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is this is not the one I'm currently doing. Hold on. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, I went entirely the wrong way. I wasn't paying attention. This way. We'll, we'll come back to this one. It's okay that you went the wrong way. It just means you get to spend more time in the hippo car. Yeah. Honestly, this is a cool mount. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use it very often. I will unlock it, but I don't know if I'm gonna use it very often. It'd be very great if it was a two-seater, but it doesn't look like it is. What's your opinion on Frontier so far? I've talked about it a little bit in a previous stream that it hasn't been archived yet. I'm sorry about that. Um, but, what is this? No, this is still not it. This is still not it. Oh my God. Um. So yeah, Frontiers, I'm, I'm not gonna get into a whole rant about it because I still just kinda wanna see more of it in action before I get to Doom and Gloom, but it's definitely shaping up to not be the open world Sonic dream that I have, uh, which, you know, I, obviously, like, we need to take the game for what it is and not for, like, a weird hypothetical game we want it to be that doesn't actually exist. It's just, like, at the same time, like, I have very mixed feelings about even what it is. Um, I think there's a very correct way to do open world Sonic and a lot of a lot of fan tech demos have done it in in terms of like the controls. I know like the actual like uh the the actual specifics of it being like uh of it looking like like a fan made tech demo where they just kind of like drop Sonic into a big like empty map. Um is is you know it's 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 comparable to what we've seen um but like 
Uh, hold on. I'm trying to... Oh, oh, they want, they want a specific color. Got it. I didn't read the last one then. Uh, but the thing that makes the... Okay, well, like, the, 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 the argument I have for that is that... One, obviously, this is promotional content we're getting for a full game coming out this year that's developed by a AAA studio. Um, I feel like it's okay if we maybe have higher expectations from Sonic Team, who is, like, the officially, like, endorsed team in charge of this. I oh, my God, I keep skipping what he said. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so distracted. I'm so, I'm trying to do, like, I'm trying to do two things that are taking my attention at once. Blue. Okay, let's blue. Jesus. All right. Um, so, like, a, like a fan tech demo and official uh, promotional content for an upcoming AAA game in, 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 like, one of the most popular game franchises of all time, they're going to have different expectations. But also, the thing that really personally bothers me about Sonic Frontiers is not that the world looks kind of bland and empty per se that's obviously a part of it um that we'll obviously have to wait and see if it holds any water but the main thing for me and i've and i've mentioned this the main thing that bothers me is the the control aspect where it does not look like the world is designed around a momentum based move set for sonic that would actually be fun to move around with. It looks like Sonic's motion and his moveset is um, an extremely basic open world kind of uh, physics system. And it seems like the map is really not super designed terrain-wise to facilitate momentum-based motion. Which is what I personally would want out of Open World Sonic. That is what I find fun to control. I find it really, really fun to run around and build up speed and try to maintain speed through my own skill and not through fucking dash pads. <laughs> like, I, like, they still have dash pads in this game. Why do they still have dash pads in this game? Why is that their go-to design philosophy for building up speed with Sonic? Why is it all? Why does it always have to be automated? I don't understand. Um, and that's the issue for me: is that it's it's just a missed opportunity. It's a missed opportunity to actually change the fundamental design philosophy of Sonic and make something that works for the character. And it seems like they're maybe missing that opportunity in lieu of plopping Sonic into a Breath of the Wild Fantasy Star lookalike map that has nothing to do with him mechanically or aesthetically just to capitalize on the Breath of the Wild success. Um, and obviously we don't know if that's the case in execution, but that's the fear. And that's what the preview footage has made, has made it look like. So obviously I'm not writing the game off entirely. I'm still gonna play it when it comes out. I am, you know, I'm, I am not immune to new video games. Um, obviously I'm gonna play it. And we're gonna see. And I'm obviously gonna be hard tuned to every single bit of news we get for this game. As I have been since it was announced. But at the same time, uh, I, I currently do have mixed feelings that are very, very sad to feel after my initial excitement, as y'all know, as y'all saw in the fucking clips, of uh, of them actually listening to the potential of, of an open world Sonic concept. I just feel like it came from the wrong inspirational foundation where it was like, like personally, I've wanted an open world Sonic game for a long time now, like a very long time. I think even before Breath of the Wild came out. And I have thought for a very long time that like, that would be a really good idea if done correctly. Um, and it always came from the idea that like, you could have such an incredible world that finally gives like 
some real spatial context to all the different like sonic zones like green hill and uh like station square and stuff you could like you could actually physically place those in a large open space and have you like travel between them in real time and see how they relate to one another spatially um you could have the exploration and discovery aspect where you locate like the chaos emeralds through your actual like exploration like 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 you could do like big like zelda style dungeons where like you're searching through like ancient fucking like tombs or whatever and at the end once you've beaten the challenge of this like dungeon you get a chaos emerald and you could actually just place those in the world and like players could find those on their own time instead of it being delegated to like specific special stages it could be something they discover for themselves and like you get that excitement of like oh my god i just found a fucking chaos emerald are you kidding me um and you and and you know you could do like like an rpg quest system at least like even in a shallow way that would be very interesting where like you have obviously like your main story quests or your main story missions whatever you want to call them which is like you know the, the main crux of the game but then you could also like interact with a ton of like sonic characters old and new and like help them out and like give like some real like um some real weight and like personal experience to sonic's like place in this world and with his friends um and then of course at the core of it would ideally be an incredible movement system where you can build momentum and you can use the design of the world itself and not just like auto like the design of the terrain itself and not just like rails and bounce pads and 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 boost pads and shit you can use the terrain uh to like feel like you are playing like the sonic cd intro you know you build up momentum all this like wall running all this wall running shit you know happens in real time if you can keep up your speed um and actually it does seem like they have a little bit of that with like the wall running specifically i saw a little wall running in in the frontiers gameplay which was like ooh, that was a nice little moment of like okay okay you got something um but like yeah it's just i yeah i don't know that's 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 been like my dream for like a like a new era for Sonic for a very long time where it's like I want I want to feel like Sonic is like a fucking like a like a world again. You know a world you can just like immerse yourself in. I, I really I really try to avoid I don't know if you've noticed I really try to avoid using the word immerse when I talk about video games nowadays cuz like I just feel like that word is so fucking overused and like poorly utilized in arguments about like a game's quality. I li like it, it literally it that the the whole value of that word instantly fractured to me once I legitimately saw someone online on the internet a real person say that health bars showing in a video game they were playing broke their immersion. I was like, are you like do you know what you're talking about? No. <laughs> you don't. So I I Literally ever since then, I, I just, I don't, I try not to use the word anymore. Cause I'm like, okay, we've officially passed the point of this word being useful, I think. Anyway, anyway. <clears throat> I know, I, I literally just said I wasn't gonna go on a whole rant about frontiers, but I can't, I cannot help myself. I cannot help myself from caring. I hate it. I, I wanna just like be okay if this game is bad. I want, I want to, I want to not care if this game is bad, but I, I, I can't help it. I can't stop myself. Uh, Tommy Fenster, uh, Tommy Fenst, Fenster, Fenster, Mosher, Mocker, thank you so much for the, for gifting a sub to Corver after. I apologize for my confusion about your username. Okay, thank God. Okay. Almost done with the dailies. We just gotta turn them in. Mm -mm -mm. I 
Immersion should be more about the ability for you to get into a focus state. Yeah, well, I mean, like, immersion as a concept is useful to an extent. I just feel like, like I said, it's way overutilized in, in like, online discussion about games. Immersion is really only useful when discussing, I, I think, a game's ability to help you suspend your disbelief enough to get into, like, a flow state with the game. Um... But if like, but if you are if you are thinking of immersion as in like, I have to at every solitary moment believe that this is real and exists, and like if I see a like a blade of grass that doesn't move or like a window that doesn't break when I shoot it, then my immersion is broken. Like if that's how you think about Im immersion, like you, like it's that's not a useful concept to anybody. You like like if you are that person, you fundamentally do not understand how video games work. You do not understand the limitations of games, nor like game budgeting or game labor, and like you do not care to. <laughs> uh, you literally just want virtual reality, which is not bad, but like you have to be honest about what you want. You don't want, you don't want immersive video games. You want to forget about the real world <laughs> entirely, which is sometimes valuable, but not always useful when when talking about games from a critical perspective. We did it! I'm level 85. Look at that. Okay, so now... Let's go to Red Mage. Because it's time to do Tataru. Stuff. gotta have some ability to suspend your disbelief. Yeah, exactly. Suspending your disbelief is what makes stories enjoyable. Of mothers and merchants. Oh, is this, um, is this the custom delivery quests with, a mim, uh, mim, mim, uh, with, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, with, uh, with, uh, when you, when, when you, I don't actually know where... Oh, you know what? It would probably be... Mordona. Probably. If this is a work, I can just look up where she is. A thousand and one farewells. That doesn't seem like it's correct. Nope. Okay, hold on. Where is this? Tanaru's Grand Endeavor class. Uh, I need to look up. Hold on. Patch 6.15. Release. Release notes. Tatter's Grand Endeavor is in... Oh, it is in Charlian. Small business, big dreams. Fuck. I missed it. Damn. And I wasted my... I wasted my free return. Fuck. This is literally the worst day of all time. This is the worst day anyone's ever had. So what is it? Small business, big, small business, big dreams? Yes. Small business, big dreams. Small business, big dreams. In, wait, it's at 11, at 11 point eight. Where the fuck? Penny, you gotta do the first 6.1 quest. Oh shit. 
Oh, okay. This is literally this is literally what I was talking about earlier. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we're doing some main story quest reading, but uh, only briefly. I gotta go back to Mordona. Ah! Shit. I guess I'm doing this early. It's worth it for Tataru. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I agree. I agree 100%. I do, I do not mind. Uh... Ba -bum -bum -ba. I do not mind this. Oh, yeah, there she is. I remember now. I don't know why I didn't think that. Hi, Tataru. Putting on a pot of tea looks in need of company. Ooh, what do we get? What do we get for this? Pilbly, how lovely to see you. If you're not in too much of a rush, I was about to make a pot of tea. Would you like a cup? Yes, please. Take a seat then, and I'll find us something to nibble on as well. Ooh, that, that ASMR. <gasps> Yummy! Oh, shit. I'm hungry again. I legit might get some breakfast after this. Yeah. Well, after this, I'm gonna be like, out and about. It's so much quieter oh, these gosh. days without everyone around. It's voice acted. Yo, I'm not used to the patch quest being voice acted right off the not bat. Not that I'm pining for your return, you understand. I Why have resources, and I know that each and every one of you is doing well and keeping busy with your endeavors. <sighs> Meanwhile, I'm left with a surplus of free time and the question of how to make the most of it. What about you? Any plans for the immediate future? Uh, I'm still mulling it over. I hope you weren't thinking of asking me for advice. Though if you are open to suggestions, I might have one for you. Oh uh, yeah? You've fought bravely and selflessly, helping those in need and saving our star from unimaginable threats. For your deeds, you've been hailed as the champion of Eorzea and a host of other incredible things. But why not put those titles aside for a while? I already took a break. I just came back to the game. You want me to stop now? Adventurer again, and travel the world in search of wonder. Oh, okay. I'm good with that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, you're right. Who knows what mysteries are still waiting to be discovered? That was an awful line read. Oh my god, I'm not getting any work like that. You're right. Who knows what oh, I, I already forgot the, the line. Spirit. Fuck, I'm useless. I can feel from here the blazing fire that just lit in your belly. Don't don't talk now, about my belly flames, okay? I I I BS. <laughs> if you're having trouble deciding, just leave it to me. Favner. That's where you should go next. Oh shit! That's the, wait. I doubt you were able to squeeze in. I've a already been there. <laughs> I, was the there. Time you were Tata, there. I was just but there. I was just there. Burning skies and rampaging monsters and so forth, and I'm sure Retra would be pleased to see you. I was then literally the just itself. there. The Empire's presence in the region was always a deterrent to exploration, so if you've a mind to sail that sea, now's your chance. Just think of all the new experiences you could have. Tadri, why is your shadow so pixelated? Sorry, it's un uh, unrelated. Unrelated, sorry. <laughs> hey! Tell me, have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the bounty? Oh, this is immediately coming into play. Cool. As the bearer of Azem's crystal, you may consider your duty to see at least that much. He's just Arr. 
Oh, I know that look. That's an adventurer ready to take on the world. Now that's an adventurer who kind of just wants to kill him at Selk again. In anticipation of an occasion <laughs> like this, I was planning to. I was thinking about him and it pissed me off. Clothes, Sorry. It's, Sorry, uh, Tataru. Still a work in progress. Shouldn't take much longer now, though, so sit tight and I'll have He's the last thing to show you can food. finish another cup of tea. Aw. Make sure it has pockets. Make sure it has pockets. Oh, she's making us clothes. Yes. New glamour, new glamour, new glamour. Stitching here and trimming there. No, the Aww, that's care. so precious. Stop that. Quit that. Quit. Hey, s fucking Just stop. Just a more to go. I'm sure you're still brimming with excitement. I am. <laughs> I'm one with the needle. See how the fabric surrenders to my whims. I, I fucking love her so much. She like she hooks me Don't up with the glamour. Worry. I'll make sure the lining has plenty. How much better can you? How much better of a friend can you get? Treasures. I swear, adventurers are worse than children when it comes to hoarding every feather, <laughs> and leaf, and animal hide they come across. Well, if you made the inventory management better, then uh, maybe I wouldn't have to keep all my fucking dyes in my pockets all the time. Make a make a permanent die system, cowards. Oh, we mustn't forget the waterproofing. Gods forbid you forget to disrobe before plunging into the sea. I think she's kind of river, annoying, to be honest. It's weird that you'd be bath. like so openly wrong and like publicly. If nothing else, it's courageous. What the hell? Is going on. Oh, <laughs> it looks so cool. Oh, what? This place looks fucking awesome. What? No, stop. It's not supposed to be interesting yet. No, stop. No. It's not supposed to be interesting yet. Stop. You're making me want to play the rest of them. I don't have time. Yes. Uh, what the hell? God, I love this game so much. God, I love this game so much. Well, now I have to play these quests like right away. I literally was like, I, it's gonna start off kind of boring maybe, so I'm gonna wait. And then someone was like, you have to do it to do the Tataru's close quest. And I was like, okay, well, now. No, uh, no, no. You're awake. Hi. I love, the, God, I love how much improved the presentation is. <laughs> my apologies. It was a I weird stretch. I a little carried away with my sewing. You seem awfully cheerful. Pleasant dream? Or are you just looking forward to the next chapter of your grand saga? Either way, I promise to provide you with new apparel, and so I shall. If you'll accompany me to the Diamond Forge, we can put the finishing touches on your outfit. Shall we? I love this song. This is the this is the Undertale crossover song. That has bits of acoustic guitar from fucking Undertale in it. You can't convince me otherwise. They literally have the same exact dun 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 Okay. If I only have to do the first quest, then I'll just I'll finish this up and then that should be all we need to do Tataru's line of wonderful adventures.
and see what she has in store. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. I really hope we just get like the most glamour of all time from this quest line. From this quest line. Since she is like, since the whole thing is that she's like starting a clothing shop. Oh, please. Observe as the artiste refines her piece into a in, refines her piece into a masterpiece. And no napping this time. I only need a moment. You'll see. This look is good. I am. I'm so excited. A little more room in the shoulders. Open up the cuffs. A final adjustment to the whatever the fuck I forgot I had autoplay on. All done. Let's see how it looks on the mannequin. <gasps> no fucking way. Oh, that looks so cool. Well, what do you think? Doesn't it just scream ready for a bold new adventure? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I need it. Give it. Give me. 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 I'm so glad you approve. You've outdone yourself, Tataru. Thank you. I'm not offering to. <laughs> Listen, if she asks, of course. Oh, stop. You'll make me blush. If you really want to thank me, though, all I ask is that you wear this on your travels. All the time? Oh, I don't know about I. Or at least anywhere lots of adventurers might gather. <laughs> They'll look at you, a famous hero, and wonder, where ever did she purchase those stylish yet practical garments? And before you know it, hordes of new customers will be climbing over each other to place orders at Tataru, 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 Taru's Boutique. Boutique. <laughs> I can hear it now. The merry clink clink of gill overflowing from my coffers. Sweet music to my ears. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, it looks so good. I'm so excited. This is actually a really, really good new uh, Red Mage replacement glam. Yeah, she's evil laughs for real. Ahem. <clears throat> Burgeoning merchant empires aside, you must be excited to start a fresh chapter of your life. Oh, I just realized the subtitles are getting cut off. I apologize. Uh, I can fix that later. New places to go, new people to meet. I often wonder how you'll remember all your experiences and exploits without taking at least a few notes. Oh, maybe you should start doing just that. You never know when some odd past detail might become relevant. Or if one day you'll take a blow to the head and forget the better part of a past decade. Something to keep in mind in any case. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, shit. Okay. <gasps> what? What? I didn't know about this. What? I didn't know. I. I. Oh, I didn't know about this. How did I not know about this? Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh. Okay, well, let me, okay, let me go back to old Charlian. You can tell they're setting up 7.0 to be a new starting point. Yeah. For sure, I'm very excited, very excited. There it is, there it is. Okay, that's like a, that's a normal ass side quest, okay. Not that I was really expecting anything different. I was just like, Will it maybe unlock something new or not? Maybe, I don't know, but I'm, I mean, I'm still gonna do it. But first, first things first. Um, this is probably all like actually just glamor stuff, right? Yeah, perfect. Oh, beautiful. This is one of my favorite songs in the entire game. Wayfarer's Tabard, Wayfarer's Fingers Gloves. Uh, 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 uh,
menus are kind of small. I, I mean, I'm, I'm playing on a 1440p screen. It looks small on stream, but in person, it's it's perfectly comfortable for me. Yes. Uh, oh, yes. Starts to be a bit of an issue at 4K. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you can you can scale you can scale it up, which is helpful. But it is a little funny how how small the fucking UI gets by default. There's no pants. Uh, oh, oh, right. Oh yeah, I I like didn't add any pants. An oversight. Where? It looks so good. It looks so good. It's weird how there's how there's no pants. We can just uh oh 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 wait hold on. I actually I actually know why they chose to not include pants because they knew everybody was gonna use these. They knew everybody was gonna want to use the uh, the ass beginning uh, leggings. Leggings of ass size. It looks so good. See how it looks dyed. Literally perfect. Well, actually, the color palette could stand to be a little bit more in line with the dye you pick, but we can we can balance this out. Hold on. What other not contrasty enough. I really like the Rollin' Berry. Yeah, that's really good. I'm sorry, the what and how can I get these? Yeah, okay, so for context, um, I'm literally gonna, okay. So, in the near raids, uh, there's a piece of glamour you can get from one of the glamour chests. <laughs> That is, as far as I know, the only glamour item in the game that genuinely increases your character's buttock size. Look at this. So this is without them. This is with them. <laughs> and it's it's based off of 2B from, from Nier Automata. It's insane. Oh, I just realized I can't use these boots. Get my, just, should I just get my Uggs going? Actually, hold on. If they're dyed properly, that's not... Eh, I was gonna say it's not a bad look, but it kind of... It's not a bad look, but it's not... It doesn't hit. The Animos boots... The Animos boots are always a good bet. They look good with most things, in my experience. At least most things that I put together. It's an easier way to get this get this palette looking a little better. I need something that like hmm. I don't know, this is like pretty good, but something about the palette isn't hitting right. No, that doesn't do it. Hey, you didn't say the best part. There's no gender restriction on the legging. Yeah, yeah, you can use them on any any gendered character. Oh, shit. Oh, you know what? This gives me, oh, instantaneously, this gives me, like, like forspoken vibes. That's actually kind of sick. Like, like the fucking, like, the sneakers with, like, the high fantasy tunic. I'm really into that. Do you have the cape or boots of happiness? I do not. Yo. That's extremely good. That's extremely good. Okay. 
Even your hairstyle fit reminds me of the first. For... Oh, oh my god, I can't read. Even your hairstyle reminds me of the first of the Forspoken Protag. Yeah, yeah, it's actually this is this is like a this is a very Forspoken look. I like this. Let me uh, let me add something like a some kind of hat to it. What if I just went fucking insane and just added like a like a dad cap to it? Or clown clown cap? Oh my god. Go full clown mode. Although, wait a wait a second, actually. And the 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 red being the primary color on the on the top hat isn't really working for me. It looks too much like a fedora. Oh wait, this is oh literally hold on. Perfect. Literally perfect. Literally perfect. Literally fucking perfect. This is now like the best glam that I have. Or one of them. I gotta remember, hold on, I'm gonna I'm about to go on the market board and look up that what what that one chat member suggested. Sorry, I forgot I forgot who did it. I think it was Missile. Is that the Cape of Cape of Cape of Happiness? I've never heard of that before. Okay. Um, now to decide whether I want to use Roland Berry Red or if I want to use uh, Dalamud Red, because this is gonna be my new Red Mage Glam. No, Roland Berry. Roland Berry for sure. I don't know. It just looks it just looks nicer with Roland Berry. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Do I want these? Hmm. I'll do the earring. Yeah, I'll do the earring. Hold on, I just got a text regarding one of my showings. Uh, oh. Just had to confirm one. Make sure I don't miss out on that. Cause that is very important. I I I honestly usually don't go for the uh for the uh the accessory glam. I don't know why. I tend to just be like extremely satisfied with just the, the base clothes options. Maybe I'm boring. Maybe I'm like a boring person. We'll keep we'll keep this for now. Alright. Um I didn't I didn't replace my uh magical girl look cuz I I really like this look. But oh, oh my god. Oh, I love it. 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 I fucking love it. What's Aorzia's time right now? 5 5:20 a.m. Hold on. We got to see we got to see the Aorzian we gotta see the Charlie and Sunrise wearing this fit. Yes. Oh my god, the vibes. The vibes. And then with my uh, relic gear. Oh. <laughs> it's the happiest I've ever been in my life. I love this game. Okay. Uh, let's go. Market board? So let's just look up happiness. <laughs> Hello, market board. Can I buy happiness? Can can Gil buy happiness, please? Whoa! You are not wrong. I do like this. Oh shit! Oh my god! She's looking kind of, looking kind of thoughty. <laughs> uh, in like the best way possible. What the hell? And then the boots of happiness. Yeah, those are nice. Hose of happiness. 
I really like those too. God, God damn. How, how much are these? <laughs> Yikes! That that adds up. You can't even buy these. No, you can. Ah, oh, shit. I don't make money in the game. I don't do the content. Ugh. Oh. Fuck. The lighting. The lighting in Charlie makes me so happy. Just the way the shadows like cascade around like the, the architecture. I'm in the cup. Yo, I just wanna hold on. Can we just vibe for a sec? are so good. The vibes are so good in Charlian. With this fit. With this fit, too. Okay. Let's go talk to Tataru again. Or, well, let's pick up this quest, which maybe will not start by talking to Tataru, but is gonna lead into it. Okay. Inordinately eager to speak with you. Welcome, welcome. I am uh, Magina, assistant shopkeep and apprentice seamstress here at Tataru Turu's boutique. I doubt you remember my face, as I am merely one of many who owe you our lives, but you will always have my gratitude for saving me that day on the Eblin Rhyme. Okay. Yeah, I do I do remember you, but also cool. You are too kind. <laughs> Was that really too kind? And while I hate to ask aught more of you, please say that you're here to assist in Mistress Tataru's new endeavor. Uh, what do you mean? Not yet, but she sh she soon shall be. Oh, oh, that was Tataru. I didn't read the name. Not yet, but she soon shall be. Whatever would we do without your pension for turning up precisely when you're needed, eh? She's so fucking, look at that little face. What a delight, what a delight. Now, to make the long story of our solvency short, we've secured the resources to produce the new designs I developed in cooperation with guilds near and far, and in sufficient quantity to meet rising demand. We shan't rest on our laurels, however. To serve passing adventurers and the occasional intrepid Charlian is all well and good, but we're hardly taking the world by storm. No. Much like yourself, we must look toward new horizons. The science proved that cooperation on a star-wide scale is possible, and we would be fools not to capitalize on that to build the grandest trade network in the history of Eidolon. Oh no. She's becoming a capitalist. All for the greater good, of course. <laughs> yes, this is a wonderful opportunity to bring people together. I often think back to that incredible moment when the Garlean army came to our rescue. Perhaps our efforts, too, will one day lead to a miracle like that which took place on the Evelyn Rhyme. I don't know if I'm saying that right, I'm sorry. Evelyn Rhyme? I have no doubt they shall, but we mustn't expect such alliances to form themselves. We must be proactive. And who better to woo our future partners in commerce than our current number one customer? You! Our erstwhile comrades in arms know that when it comes to good equipment and better ideas, few have such keen eyes as our adventure extraordinaire. Even should they hesitate at first, I'm certain you can convince them using the samples I prepared. Uh... If you'll cover my aetheride expenses, 
Yeah, they really hiked up that market lately. Uh, well, I see that my mind is made up. Also, a uh, Bong Island iced tea. <laughs> Thank you so much for gifting a sub uh, to Jonah. I'm not going to read the full username. Uh, but of course, with your assistance, we'll have both coin and goodwill flowing in no time. Everything is falling into place. Where shall we send Pelby first? Oh, God, my my. Oh, my line reads today are not. I'm I'm a little rusty right now. <laughs> Don't you worry. I have it all planned out. First, Limza Laminza. Sigurd has the bloody executioners working harder than ever, so he is sure to appreciate any extra supplies. Next, Britannia. The Seedseers are a source of trusted authority and insight into the Shroud, so we not go amiss in cultivating the investment of, say, Arun Senna? His insular station has likely given him opportunity for dealings outside of Gradania in the past, so you'll want to leverage that Ilzabadi and contingent camaraderie, Jesus Christ, these words, to assure him of the value of our venture. As for old Da, I feel confident in, p in pinning our hopes on Pippin. He's always been a stalwart ally, and it goes without saying that he has more than a little sway in the Sultanate. Between his involvement with the Immortal Flames, the Syndicate, and the Colosseum, he's bound to find a use for quality accoutrement. accoutrement. She's got a fucking vocabulary today. With that out of the way, Regina, would you do the honors? Tatter really just said bloody executioners with a smile on her face. Yeah, she say the most fucked up things and it's like the most delightful thing you've ever heard just because it's coming from her. Never let it be said that Tataru Taru is stingy with her samples. Now, if you make your way to Limsa and climb aboard the Ast Astal... Hold on. Astalisha? 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 I'm certain someone will point you in Sikard's direction. Sikard. I don't know how to... I don't know how to talk. I have my own avenues of inquiry to attend to, but I'll check in periodically to see how your journey is coming along. Let's get to it! Yeah! Commerce! Woohoo! We're literally just like, we're just setting up a merch store. Ta Tataru Streamer merch. Okay, let's go to Limsa. Oh, it's snowing, yes. long is this uh, batch of quests? I wonder. I don't know if anyone knows. Is this like the beginning of like a set of quests that's gonna go on for like a while, or is this just like a very like a short little a short little thing, like a one-off quest chain? What I, I I just realized I can use the Ether Network. How to Train Your Dragon Ass Music. It's not too long, just a lot of forward and back. There and back again. The Hobbit. I'm impressed that you remember the music of How to Train Your Dragon. That, that shit has a great soundtrack. That was like one of my favorite OSDs for a while. Uh, it's literally the same melody. Yeah, this. I. I mean, I've talked about this before. I. I mention all the time how this song sounds exactly like How to Train Your Dragon. Hostwab. I. I recognize ye. What do you want? 
As long as it's not about another bloody apocalypse. I don't see why not. Wait here. Well, bugger me. Thought we'd seen the last of you for a while. What brings you aboard? Can I interest you uh, here? Can I interest you in some fine garb today? Now I'm role playing. <laughs> Your sales pitch needs some work, but I see where you're getting it. We're already traveling halfway across the world every half moon. May as well earn a little extra for our trouble, eh? You know. There was a time I thought pirating was the whole world. That being the best of them all meant something. Going to Ilzebad made me see how small my world was compared to the real one. Standing next to the star's finest, I started to wonder what I had to brag about. Then the bloody executioners went and did me proud by bringing in a bigger god's damn all of adamantite than anyone else in the realm. Between that and the new metalworks we got going with the Cobalt, seems like the right time for the executioners to change our sails, so to speak. Which is all to say that if you got wares for remoting, I'd be happy to show them off across the realm and beyond. So are you the same character when changing jobs, or do NPCs see them as separate people? No, you're the same. Masterworks from Tataru Tataru's uh, Masterworks from Tataru Taru's boutique grant guaranteed by the war I cannot fucking say that! I can't they gotta change that. Okay, they need to change that specifically for me. Guaranteed by the warrior like herself. Almost seems a waste to wear them. Folk be lining up at the dock for these. Literally, seeing as old Charlene's only accessible by sea. Now, if we got ourselves an exclusive shipping contract. Aye, I see the course clear as day. Now we just need a man Elaine on board. He's right useless when there's work to be done, but talk's another matter. And he still owes me one for keeping his sorry ass out of trouble. So I'll, put, so I'll have him put me in touch with a few savvy salesman types on the continent. Currently continent. obsessed with this game after watching your VODs. Oh yeah. Thank you for introducing me to this amazing game. Oh, that makes me happy to hear. Thank you. I'm so glad you like it. Tell Totoru I look forward to setting sail on this new tight ass. May the winds a change guide us all right. Guide us all right or all right? I don't actually know how to write that. Hubbly, it's me. How goes our little venture thus far? I just want to you don't know me. Oh, sick it's eyeing the shipping routes, Izzy. All according to plan. But our work has only just begun. I'll keep after my own contacts while you work on Ar Arun. I hear he's not often in the city, but I don't doubt that Mother Mion can sniff him out. Mom? Oh, we get to talk to Mom again. Yes. Let's go to the best, the best area in the game. Best starting city, at least. I literally love Gridania so much. Look at this. Look at how pretty. Ah, it looks really good right now. Love this place. This is my fucking home, man. Mom! Mom! Why, if it isn't Pebbly, 
Struck with a sudden craving for eel pie, were you? Or is it information you fancy? I would fucking love some pie, Mom. Thank you so much. Wait, you call her that too? Yeah, she's literally Mother Moon. Oh, yes. Word of our seed seer's comings and goings never fails to reach my ears. I'm told that ever since he returned from his foray to Ilsabad, he's been roaming back and forth between our neighboring tribe settlements and the Lotus Stand. You'll miss him if you make for one or the other, like as not. So I suggest you waylay him at the Blue Badger Gate. I'm gonna badger him at the badger gate. Oh. <laughs> Olda is my home in this game. I know it like the back of my hand. Yeah, it's it's. I'm that way with Gridania. I, I fucking love Gridania so much. It's so nostalgic for me. Curious. <laughs> so cute. Were his clothes always purplish? It's probably my shaders. Yeah. I have a my my shaders I have set to give the game kind of like a little bit more of like a like a warm hue to everything. Um just because I, I prefer the way that looks. I think it looks really pretty that way. Um and obviously it like it adds some ambient occlusion and ups like the contrast and the saturation and everything. May I ask why you're loitering at the gates, Peltley? And with such an enormous sack. <clears throat> okay. I admit you piqued my interest. To integrate the tradition and ingenuity of guilds throughout Eorzea in such a fashion is no small feat. As it happens, I'm of the mind to do something similar myself. Though I could not blame you should you doubt my understanding of such endeavors. I don't remember, like... I don't remember if a lot of these characters have, like, canon voices that I'm just, like, getting completely wrong. Yeah, bear with me. Absent a special dispatch like that which the Elder Seedseer ordered for Ilzebard, it is vanishingly rare for one of my station to leave the Shroud. You are doubtless aware that historically, Gridania has placed the piece of the Twelve's Wood in our covenant with the Elementals above all else, often to the detriment of our relationship with other peoples. Yet much as we are one with the Shroud, are we not also part of the Star and Sire? Our ventures in Garlemald made plain the strength of a world united. This attire you carry demonstrates much the same truth. I don't know what that means, man. I'm just here to sell shit. <laughs> but perhaps you assumed you would need to talk me around to the idea? If so, I apologize for the disappointment. If there's any comfort, I'm nearly as surprised myself. No longer am I content to hear the words of the elementals alone. I wish to know the voices of men. Though our time in Gollumall has shown me that my ability to listen is average at best. These horns may mark me as gifted in the Twelve's Wood, but beyond they inspire neither fear nor awe. I have been mistaken several times for a Zayla. May as well be one, for all the difference my status as Seedseer makes to those who want for succor. Yet was this self-same insignificance that allowed me, for the first time in my life, to truly feel part of a greater whole. I am but one life among myriads upon this star. I dare say I should behave accordingly. With luck, my elder sister shall agree. Tell Mistress Tartaru that her gift is accepted with gratitude, 
and she ought to hear from us soon. Nice! That went well. Guess who? Did you speak with Arun yet? Yes. That sounds promising. I'm beginning to understand what makes our seats here friend tick. But we can discuss that later. You need to catch Pip and air his duties taken from Oldar once more. I believe he spends much of his time at the Coliseum, so perhaps you should pay a visit to the Gold Court? I'll be awaiting your full report at the boutique. Oh shit, I got like 30 minutes. I like 30 minutes before I gotta go. Well, a little more than 30 minutes, but I just mean to say we're getting we're getting close to the to the end. God, those um those Arcaz Arcaz Arcazodara <laughs> quests took such a long time to set up. Gladiators go. You're definitely gonna finish this quest before nine. Okay. The, this quest, yes, but the quest chain? I don't know. I don't know if I buy that. Especially, especially vocalizing all of the, um, all the dialogue. Like reading it out loud takes so much more time than reading it in my head. I see. Uh, Marshal Tarupin is currently engaged in another meeting, but I shall tell him that Lieutenant Peach awaits his convenience. My apologies for keeping you waiting. I did not expect you here today. Tataru is offering quality material, is she? Yeah. <laughs> I can hardly say no to that. It fits almost too perfectly with my plans for the flames. I have long striven for mastery of the blade. I require the trials of Ilzebad, however, to truly see Tizona for what it is. The fire that warms the coldest night. The spark that ignites a blaze of hope. And most of all, an unbreakable testament to Father's faith in me. More ally than tool. It is a treasure beyond price. Does every soldier of the Immortal Flames not deserve allies such as this? Arms and armor to remind them of what they fight to protect? To help them stand where they might otherwise fall? Indeed, works made possible only through the ingenuity and dedication of allies across the star may be just the sort of inspiring armaments we need. I anticipate that I will be sending along an order for custom equipment ere long. In the meantime, would you mind if I use these samples for a few trials here at the Coliseum? Yes, go, go for it. My thanks. We shall put them to use immediately. Okay. Oh, it's so heavy. As a child of Alda, however, not strikes fear into my heart like the prospect of receiving valuable goods for free. I must insist you accept something in return. I will literally kill you if you pay me. Mm. I had been meaning to gift that necklace to Tataru. It's poor condition aside. She might rather have it than not. One necklace. I've spoken with Tataru at some length about our past, you understand. In many ways, we are quite similar. As you may recall, her family was bankrupted when she was very young, a consequence of her father's business failing. 
They were forced to put all their wealth towards paying off his debts, and then some. One asset they reluctantly parted with was a necklace, treasured by her mother, for which Tataru has long searched to no avail. Yeah, we're getting, like, backstory. What the fuck? Strangely enough, I received discovery of... I res... I... <sighs> Try that again. Sorry, he just, he just malfunctioned for a second. Strangely enough, I recently discovered jewelry of the very same description amidst a store of neglected Colosseum prizes. Assuming it is the same piece, I should like to see it returned to her. It is significantly worse off for having changed hands, though. And only the sapphire centerpiece remains unlost and undamaged. She may appreciate the sentiment nevertheless, but it's difficult to say. What do you think? The memories it holds for her aren't lost or damaged. Hmm. The memories it holds for her aren't lost or damaged. True enough. Though if it's to be a gift, I would prefer to at least clean it up a bit. In that case... I'd considered asking the Goldsmith's Guild, but you ought to be able to turn the necklace into a piece that Tataru would wear, if not precisely what she remembers. I imagine you will have the opportunity to pick up gems and other suitable materials on your travels. From there, it is merely a matter of unifying the pieces. Are you willing? Yes. Then I will have the sapphire removed from its setting and sent to the boutique with all haste. I doubt even Tataru would dare open a private package addressed to you. Best of luck in finding matching materials, and in your most entire endeavors, of course. May the traders guide you to fortune fair. <clears throat> cool. Okay. So we we got a little we got a little bit of a hook. Back to Charlene. You've returned! With your bag all the lighter for having given away our samples, I hope. Speaking of which, a parcel from one Pippin Tarupin appeared, or arrived not bells ago, addressed to you. Could it be that our newfound partnerships are already bearing fruit? Her mother's necklace? Why, that's a wonderful idea. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Please allow me to assist. I swear I won't breathe a word of this to Mr. Stotteru. It's, 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 I should probably start trying to say it more like as Tataru, because that feels like it's more correct. I do wonder what parts you will need. Do you know what style Mistress Tataru prefers? If this necklace is to be a keepsake, why not focus on that, eh? Hey, it's me over here. Apologies, I could not help but over here. <laughs> I know who that was. Quite all right, but do please keep your voice down. What, uh, what was it you were saying? It simply occurred to me that since you were gifted the sapphire so readily, our other partners in this endeavor may wish to offer up something for Mistress Tataru as well. With such gifts, you could turn the necklace into a memento of not just her past and its trials, but her present successes as well. That's perfect. If our plans for the boutique proceed apace, we should soon have more than enough tokens from friends across the seas. What do you think, Pelbly? Well, well, were you waiting for little old me? Uh, uh, Mistress Tataru, we were uh, just discussing the successful delivery of the samples. Yes. Good to hear. How fares, dear Pippin? Uh, he's pretty nice. He's still small, though. It's fucked up. I knew he would come through. Though I admit I wasn't expecting to outfit a whole host of immortal flames quite so soon. I 
suppose it goes to show that even the most hardened warrior can always learn a thing or two. And Sakard and Arun have changed as well, if your tales are any indication. I imagine their personal growth bodes well for that of our network. Thank you for checking up on them. We must sort through our current commissions before deciding who to approach next, but I know I can count on you to be ready when we are. Me, me. No, me, me. Okay. So first quest done. Very nice. That's so cute. I love it. I love the the Tataru lore. Is there any more? Oh, shit. That actually might be it for now. Oh. Oh, okay. So is it like, it's like one quest at a time? I think there'll be some next patch, but yeah, it just kind of ends. Oh, okay. Well, that, that was a lot more doable than I expected. Yeah, all right. I get it now. Oh, geez. Well, what now? Honestly, might um, I might go ahead and just call stream here then, because that was kind of the the main things I wanted to do right away, uh, and I think it would behoove me to have some extra time to uh, take a look at the stream audio quality and just like see if everything is sounding good and like adjust accordingly. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Um, so. Hey, thanks for uh, thanks anyone who's been uh, hanging out for this uh, for this little vibe stream. I hope it was I hope it was a chill time. I certainly had a great time. Uh, very very nice start to the day. I really should do morning streams more often. I honestly I honestly oh God, I want to do more morning streams. I really like the vibes of a morning stream. It's just you know it's a bit hard. Uh, so we'll see. Maybe one day I can fit it into a regular thing, but. For now, it's nice to just uh, cherish the moments we do have. Um, so, everybody, uh, go go get some go get some tea. Go make sure you're all rested up if you haven't rested already. And uh, I wish you I wish you all well. I wish you all a great one. Uh, Squirrel Emperor also says goodbye for now. See, he's doing some insane tricks with his nut. Uh, and I'll see y'all maybe later tonight? Maybe? Maybe. Very, very huge fucking maybe. Huge maybe. But I'll try. I'll, I'll, see, I'll see what I can do. But if not, if not later tonight, then, uh, soon. Soon for sure. Uh, I'll try to fit, like, some reaction streams in, because it's, like, pseudo E3 season. I know it's not actually E3, but a lot of, uh like game related events are happening. I want to get reactions and if anything in particular seems cool. So if not tonight, then soon y'all will see me again. Um, and yeah, I just, I hope y'all have a good one. Uh, rest up, treat yourself, take care, be good to people, all that good stuff. I'm gonna get going. Bye.